everybody. Did you know the 8th of March is the International Women's Day for United Nations Women? Well, I've decided to have an undies campaign to help women learn more about gynaecological health. So what I've done is devise these undies and we're going to, I'm going to teach you today how to decorate the undies. Uh, but if you decorate it like this and then if you lift that up, you can see all the gynaecological awareness uh, bits, as we call it. So we can learn more about gynaecological health issues such as polycystic ovaries, endometriosis, fibroids, prolapse, hysterectomies, uh, lichen sclerosis, and um, women's vulval conditions and sexually transmitted infections. So I'm trying to put a bit of fun into a very otherwise very serious topic. So to start off with, <coughs> What I've done is uh, you, get the, uh, you can get these undies online and uh, so what you do is you put a trim across the top so that you can flip it up the, for this bit, this section here. So first of all you cut out a pair of undies like this and I've gone through and put some lace underneath there and so just zooming in close we, um, this is what we do. Um, we get the glue gun and we glue along the edge here and place a nice little bit of lace or whatever you can find in your house. You can just cut up an old dress if that's what you're, uh, if you don't have anything on hand. So you glue it on there like that and then you have the top bit. You just grab a little bit of lace and put it across there and make the lacy bits sticking up the top. And then I'll add a little bit extra on here, like so. And then I thought, well, I might add some uh, some pearls. But you can buy the pearls and you just tear it off like this and put that across just to add a little bit more bling to it, like so. And then I thought, well, you might put a little bit of jewellery on this one. So if you just glue that on down the middle just put some old junky jewelry that's around the place or even some even some secondhand jewelry and then I've got a little bow that you can add to the top I guess you've seen this from upside down <laughs> I didn't think about that so we put the put the bow on the top there like that and there's a little bit outstanding on the edge so you can just cut it around to whatever shape you like to make it neaten it off like so. Now what we do is we place it on this, this thing that you can flap over but um, I have a feeling we need some more ribbon across the top here so what I'm going to do because it's white on white so what we might do is put, put this across here just to jazz it up a little bit and we'll put that on there like that And then you glue the back of the little pair of undies that you've made. You just glue along the top bit like that. And you put it on top of the material across the top. I'll just slip that off there like that. Make sure that's straight. Oh, and... You can always add a little bit of uh, a little bit of lace. I think that's too much for that one. So um, anyhow, so that's the final product, and then you can have it hung in your workplace or your your school environment. And then there's all different shapes that you can have. These these are green ones for the International Women's Day. I'll show you some of the others that I've made up for the day. See, it's um, you can be all as creative as you like. Here's another one. And another one. But just to show you some others that have been made up, I also have these little tiny ones that are made up like this. And then you put it on there. And, um, yeah, you can just have all different colours. I've even got lovely yellow ones here that are really nice as well. So where is my long... See, this is, this is the long ones here. I mean, I just think they're fantastic and it's a great way to share the message without being too confronting. Well, while I'm here, I wanted to talk about this paper talk that I have devised with all the gynaecological um, 
body parts and conditions that we have and it folds up into the paper talk or a chatterbox I think they used to call them at school so it's a gr another great way another thing I have here is uh, my not so secret women's business just talks about women's stories and experiences and my latest book da -da, it's if only I knew and it's quite a funky funky sort of the way that we present it and um and it, and it just sort of shares more about the emotional, uh, mental side of things. So on that note, if you need any information about this, uh, contact me at kathmazella.com and I can send you a template and you can work on it from there. Actually, I've got one more, another thing, is this piece of wire. <clears throat> because it's a cheap way to be able to get the message and involve the women in the community. So what you do is you just wind it up. These are the ovaries, like this. And then you make a triangle and then you separate the two in the middle to make it the uterus and that's the vagina. So um, that's just a novel way just to have a bit of fun with it as well. We also have a song that we sing, it's called the Gynamite Song and uh, on, in finishing I'll read it out to you. <clears throat> it goes, ladies to the left, ladies to the right, don't forget your gynamite. Now is the chance to discuss what's in your pants. Sharing is healing. Tell us what you're feeling. We care a lot, so spread the cheer to look after what's down here. We are here to raise a cheer, so don't forget your pet smear. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. So let's get out and have a bit of fun for International Women's Day. Thank you.